Now, turning to sports now, less than two days to go before he makes his Browns debut. Deshaun Watson remains a polarizing figure among many fans, and one battleground has been radio talk shows. Bree Buckley went to a Cleveland radio station tonight to get the latest glimpse of what fans and hosts are saying. How people will react if Deshaun doesn't play well on Sunday? All eyes on Deshaun Watson as he prepares to return to the field Sunday afternoon, renewing hope for the Browns during a tough season so far. Because I had a lot of people. Let's get to football. This is about football, right? Afternoon drive host uh, Nick Wilson on 92.3 well, The Fan Browns, hears from Browns fans all day long. If he happens to make a mistake anytime, throws a bad pass, something happens, everyone's going to say $230 million. He says majority aren't focused on the over two dozen sexual misconduct allegations that landed him the 11-game suspension. The consensus was, from what I heard from fans, was, you know, we feel like he served his time, and now it's time to go focus on football. Watson spoke Thursday for the first time in months, avoiding the topic altogether. Yeah, I'm focusing on football. Uh, that's my main focus is, is football and preparing to be the starting quarterback for the Cleveland Browns so I can execute the game plan. Some disappointed in his football first approach. I think it missed the mark. You can be respectful and you can be thoughtful and you can be everything and you can't ignore the reason you were gone for 11 games. You can't ignore the reason why you had been sued 26 times for, you know, in civil court. Fans sharing their disapproval on social media as others are just focused on what they hope will be a victory this Sunday. The resounding message was we want to get back to football. Now Watson has reached a final settlement with 23 of the 24 massage therapists who brought civil lawsuits against him. Now Russ Moore, about 10 of those women are expected to be at the game alongside with their lawyer in uh, Houston on Sunday. Yeah, a lot of people talking about this still and it will continue, of course. Bree, thank you. Yes, thank you.